On this episode of the Carolina Sports Guy, hey folks, it's Dallas Cowboys week. And hey, we can reel them in like fish because the Dallas Cowboys folks have the most plastic fan base in America. Yes, they are the Walmart of the NFL. You know, sorry Dallas and you fans. You can go up to a typical Cowboy fan and tell them Tony Romo's playing tomorrow night and they'll believe you spot on. Before we get into today's video, Make sure you subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Pound that like button. Hit that bell notification. Be notified of future videos like this on the Panthers. And folks, leave me some comments. I love the dialogue. Okay, folks. Just kind of wanted to break it down for you. Um, no, I'm not a Cowboy fan. And people who know me remember, as a, well, go way back with me. When I was a little kid, I was a Cowboy fan. I was a Starbuck fan. But this was in a day and an age before the Carolinas had any professional teams. Big Tar Heel basketball fan, and I kind of followed like East Carolina and the Tar Heels in football as a little kid. Um, but the two pro sports teams alike was the Cowboys because of Starback. I was a big Dr. J fan with the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, Pittsburgh Pirates baseball, the hockey, really, maybe believe it or not, Hartford Whalers before they ended up coming to Carolina, which was great for me. Um, but you know, until the Panthers come along, we didn't have a team to root for. And I hate to say it, but it's kind of like a marriage that goes bad. Because if you've ever been married before, you know at one time you thought this thing was going to last forever. You know, at one time you thought, man, this is going to be love of my life. But you marry them and it gets old. And one day you can't stand to hear them breathe. And that was kind of like when the Panthers come along with the Cowboys. It didn't take long for me to realize I got to get out of this relationship. That was the best thing I did. And I know a lot of Cowboy fans throughout the Carolinas, and, and they're not going to give up on that. The same thing with the Washington football team. A lot of diehard old Redskins fans will not give up on that. Dale Earnhardt Jr., that's why I don't root for you. I don't really follow NASCAR anyway, but that's one big reason why you'll never be like your daddy. But... I just want to talk about the plastic fan base. Dallas can be 8-8 eight and eight and sneak into playoffs. And all you hear is, America's team, we're going, them boys is going to do it. How about them Cowboys? You know, my God, if they go 3-0 and or 5-1, and one, people are, oh, man, they're willing to sell a farm. There's no greater thing than the Dallas Cowboys. But if you've ever sat down, and I know, look, I've met some Cowboy fans that are diehard. They follow the draft. They keep up with their team. They know the roster completely. I, I know a lot of guys like that. But the majority of Cowboy fans, if you told them Jason Witten is playing Sunday, they'll break out the Witten jersey and think he's playing. Hey, I think I saw Witten out there. And it's some other guy. You know, uh, you can tell them Emmett Smith's coming out of retirement and they'll believe it. They, you know, tell them Troy Aikman's the all-time leading passer. They'll believe it. That's another thing. Troy Aikman said we're the weakest 3-0 and team because of our schedule. Who the hell is that piece of shit? Who is Troy Aikman? Just because he was a cowboy. Think he's the greatest thing on earth. That's probably because of all the pummeling he took in the playoff games. Two times he played the Panthers and got beat. But, look, the Dallas Cowboys are not America's team, folks. They're South America's team. I'm sorry, they're not. And I know my beloved Carolina Panthers, can, small market team, the Carolinas, were an afterthought with most of America, except for the year when we went to the Super Bowls and I'm in the Cinderella story or when Cam was here. But quite honestly, folks, who wants to be the Dallas Cowboys when the fans that root for that team, they don't even know how much, you know, they don't know if there's air in a football. They don't know how many points a touchdown is. All they see is that blue star. And I think it goes back when they were kids and they pooped on themselves. And the first time they didn't, the teacher put a blue star on their paper. So maybe that's what they think. Oh, wow, the blue star. No poopy. I don't know. But I just cannot see the level of love people have for this franchise. And the Cowboy fans, I tell you, will come out of the woodwork and are so, so obnoxious. They always think they're better than us. And there's nothing I hate more than losing to the Cowboys. Because if we were to lose to the Cowboys this week, it's coming weekend, that's all our fans will say, oh, yeah, we're the greatest. 
but I'll never forget that Thanksgiving day where we beat the shit out of him and Luke Keekley faced uh, a stiff arm Troy, uh, Tony Romo in the face when he scored his touchdown, and them Cowboy fans were quiet. I don't even think they ate turkey that day. They went and ate beef brisket. But I'm just telling you, folks, I hate that fan base. I hate that team. I'm not from the Metroplex. I'm not from the state of Texas. I'm not from Dallas. Okay? I'm not a Cowboy fan. And the only time I'll root for the Cowboys, if you're playing New Orleans, Atlanta, Tampa, and maybe any other team that might be standing in our way for a playoff berth. But other than that, I really relish in seeing the Cowboys fans suffer. It's not even the Cowboys when they really lose because our individual players are just playing a game. It's their fans are so delusional. I will never forget one time losing to the Cowboys. I think Cam's rookie year, second year, Romo was still playing. It was by a field goal. Cam had thrown an interception close to the goal line, and the Cowboy fans were hooping and hollering. And I stood up at the end of the bar and said, congratulations to the most plastic fan base in America, the Dallas Cowboys. Because they are, they're plastic. They're not real, they're fake. Okay, folks, what do you think of this video? Do you hate Dallas? Are you one of these Cowboy fans that think that the sun and rises and shines in Tom Lane grave? Or Jerry Jones is the best you know, things since Sam Walton at Walmart. Leave me some comments. Hit that bell notification. Be notified of future videos like this. Pound that like button. And by all means, folks, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. I will see you on another episode of...